what's up guys welcome back to the channel um, today we're going to be installing this crater fairing on my 09 Dyna FXD and we have all the bits and pieces to install it um, one thing you do need is a headlight block this will move the headlight out and up I believe a little bit um, but yeah so we'll need the moon's MC one for this um, this has been tried and true with this block with this crater fairing to work um, so you know no experimenting uh, this block the moon's MC block I'll put a link in the description on, on everything but this block works with the crater fairing and, and puts that headlight in a perfect place so um, what I did extra was we got this uh, I think it's JD customs anti-buffering kit these are the bottom ones and what it does is it basically just spaces the windshield out some so that um, a little air can get past and it's and it's not hitting the windshield uh, as much it, it lets a little air through there so um, and of course we have our bag of, of bolts that comes with the the, the fairing for the um, windshield mounting and we're only going to be using half of that so um, first thing first we're going to take this bracket off um, there's a there's a bottom piece and there's an upper piece we're going to take both of these off and mount it to the bike as well as the headlight block and then we'll mount the fairing to that it's just a little bit easier from what i found um, doing it that way and these bottom ones go underneath the riser bolts on the bike I'll, I'll show you that and this one comes up through the headlight block bolt so i'll show you that once we get on the bike so let's go over to the bike and uh yeah we'll show you that So here's where we are up to this point guys we got the headlight semi mounted i just wanted to show you how how this works it actually mounts to the bottom of the tree and the, the bolt that's supplied by moon's mc comes up through here it goes through the crater bracket uh, it's the lower bracket of the crater bracket and we just got all this hand tight so it can fit it all together and then we'll tighten it all down but I uh, just wanted to show you guys too the <clears throat> the upper mount here uh, you just loosen these riser bolts on either side and slide that bracket in and then tighten it down and just make sure you're good um, lined up as far as spacing goes on both sides because it can there's a little bit of movement in it but yeah that's how we're set up right now now what we'll do next is kind of tilt the tilt the headlight forward um, we'll slide the fairing somewhat in there get everything finger tight with the bolts and then we'll tighten everything down and, and get the windshield down and, and we're pretty much done so let's get that fairing on and uh snake these bolts in and get them hand tight pretty much all buttoned down except for the windshield and what I did you can kind of see in the time lapse 
because I just let this headlight loose so I could reach behind to tighten up things and everything like that. So what we're gonna do is get this windshield on next. But yeah, it's a super easy process. Like I said, when you just put the brackets on the bike first and then put the um, headlight block on and just kind of leave everything loose and get the fairing up there loose and then button everything down. So uh, what we're gonna do next is get this windshield on and there's a couple things with this uh, JD Customs anti-buffering kit that I wanna show you. But so far, really straightforward. Uh, with the right parts, it's, it's a real simple deal and it's, it's looking pretty good, man. Um, I'll get to cover up the wiring there. It's always kind of bugged me behind the gauges. So yeah, let's go check out this anti-buffering kit. So this is the anti-buffering kit from JD Customs. And what it is, is it's just a spacer kit for the lower part of the windshield. Um, this rubber portion goes in the windshield. It's a grommet. Everything else is on the outside and all this is on the inside. So what we'll do is we'll take this apart. We'll grab that grommet out, uh, throw it in the windshield on both sides on the bottom and we'll fit it up to the fairing uh, hand tight. And I'll show you about the top because the top is top of the windshield is adjustable. You can get the tilt of the windshield where you want it. So I'll kind of show you that too. But, but yeah, they have it laid. It, it comes laid out in order. Um, the way this is a spacer for the windshield away from the fairing. And this is your securing nut on the back. And all this is gonna be on the front. So let's get that mounted up and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here's the upper part of the windshield hardware and what it is 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 these little guys right here mount up against the windshield on the back these bolts come through the windshield and there's this little bracket that comes up from the uh, main bracket on the fairing up to these and bolts so uh, what I normally do is just lay out everything like I have here and just bolt it up loosely. Uh, that's kind of been my key to that, is bolt it up loosely, fit everything, make sure everything fits okay and looks okay, and then snug it all down. But this is the hardware that comes with the windshield and fairing, and you need to, uh, to use this for the upper portion uh, of the hardware, and that's what, or of the fairing, and that's what gives you your tilt on the windshield back and forth. So once I get all this buttoned up, uh, and on there we'll try to get a better picture of it but this is all the hardware that you need that comes with the crater and I'll kind of show you how I bolted in there in a second here So that's it guys, we got everything installed. Um, I wanted to give you a close up of how this upper windshield bracket is. Um, it's a couple different pieces and it's a tad bit complicated, but it is adjustable. So you can get the windshield to tilt uh, towards the front of the bike, if you can imagine that. But wanted to give you a, a detailed look of that and see how it works. There's there's the piece at the windshield that's a little rubber piece cut out and a little bracket that mounts to the uh, bracket for the fairing. So we got it all installed and pretty easy install. Uh, just take your time, loose fit everything 
and then uh, tighten everything down. That's what I'm going to do now is, is tighten everything down on the fairing. And yeah, that's it, guys. Hopefully you learned something and hopefully I uh, could help you out a little bit on how to install one of these crater fairings on a Dyna or a new uh, Softail Street Bob. We've done that. I have another video. I'll put the link there. But yeah, I kind of like it. Looks good. <laughs> Um, hopefully it blocks a little bit of wind and and hopefully it's useful so yeah guys if you have any questions hit me up in the comments or uh, on my social media you can hit me up at trip underscore HP junkie at on Instagram or on Facebook but yeah guys thanks for the support like comment subscribe to this video and we'll see you on the next one take it easy